This is 2010 Champions League semi-final first leg uh, at the San Siro, Inter uh, Barcelona. And we played with Julius Cesar in goal. We played with the back four, Maicon, Lucio, uh, Samuel and Zanetti. And then we had, during the game, um, a, a different positioning in relation to the, um, to the movement of Barcelona players and to the, the, um, our analyze of our difficulties and after also analyzing our possibilities of, um, of hurting uh, the opponents. It's a two leg. Is a two leg, the first leg at home, and obviously we know that um, the second leg in Barcelona would be even a more difficult match for us to play. Um, but basically, this was uh, Mota and Cambiaso and Schneider, um, Eto and, and Pandev, and Diego Milito. And um, in some moments of, uh, of the game, we bring uh, Pandev more to the inside and Eto more close to Diego and being most occupying the central zone with almost with almost a diamond but giving it all the chance to try to be more close to to Diego but this was the basic the basic situation Barcelona at that time uh, even still today uh, even before that uh, the back four and then uh, Busquets uh, Xavi Keita Iniesta was not starting the uh, starting the game and then uh, Ibrahimovic was the striker. Um, this was Pedro, and this is the guy I, I forget the name. Some some player that they had there, ah, Messi. Is this was the guy, and was um, was with him that we started by analyzing and trying to predict the game and to trying to anticipate the um, and trying to anticipate the problems. At that time, they had. Ibra as a nine and fixing uh, the center backs, and Messi was playing from the right, but obviously, obviously with the freedom to go to many different, to many different areas. Um, Dani Alves was the player to to go forwards uh, all the time and to try to create this situation, this situation here. Uh, our decision basically was what we are going to do when this situation happens, of Messi going in between the lines and always going forward. Are we going to get uh, Zanetti, on, uh, Zanetti on Messi, but then he will be dragged out of position and then Alves will be all the time in here. And then Pandev, OE2, they are going to end playing almost as, as left back. What, how are we going to to resolve this situation and the situation for us was was very very clear which was he cannot play alone when he come in between the lines so this player here must be a player totally in control of this area here always in communication with the left back and there is a moment where he becomes yours and I stay in the zone. But if in a certain moment you were attracted by other positions and Messi goes into these positions in between the lines, you have to decide to go. But then if you decide to go, you have to defend Alves. So there was a combination of, of ideas, but basically everything was around not let Messi uh, play. Um, I remember after the game, um, the press was was telling about using a word. Um, in Italy, they were using the word "gabbia," that sh that I think the real translation is about, um, you know, like a like a jail, like a jail to uh, to Messi, because in the end we didn't play man to man, but. Zanetti, Mota, Cambiasso, uh, everybody was, was, was responsible for any position that Messi could, could go. Even if Messi sometimes was trying to go more to this side here, he would always go 
and then Schneider was going to close. So our defensive approach was based on this positional problem and probably the only positional problem that we had. A part of that, we just need to be, to be really uh, compact and don't give them, don't give them too, much, uh, too much space. They are going to have the ball uh, more than, than us, much more than us, obviously, because many, many times they were moving the ball without hurting. And we must be mentally strong to cope with, uh, with that. Let them have the ball, but not creating uh, many chances for us. The second part of the plan was exactly how to hurt them, how to hurt them, because it's a first leg at home. We need to win the match, we need to score goals. Obviously, that's the strategy to try to hurt them was in our attacking transition, the moment we, the moment we recover the ball. And we knew, of course, the way of, uh, of their building up, uh, going with uh, Alves and Maxwell uh, forward really, really wide and um, giving lots of, of spaces. And then, because we were always trying to make it compact and bringing Pandev Etu all to the inside and to make it a very compact area, letting the ball go to the sides. And then when they define the side, then we decide that this is the trigger for us to, for us to press. And um, the point, the point in, in here was even if we don't have the white player in, in, in a clear position to attack these spaces behind Maxwell and, and Alves was to get players into these positions. From the compact block we had, not to be afraid to attack these spaces where we, we, we are going to, to hurt them. And, um, and we had uh, Maikon, that was absolutely phenomenal uh, that night attacking these spaces against a player that we knew uh, very, very well, Maxwell. Um, very strong with, with the ball, but not so strong in the recovering of these, of these uh, spaces. Alves, of course, the culture of Barcelona was for Alves to, to go always in depth, in depth, in depth, and attacking the spaces that normally opponents were going to give them because of Messi coming to the, uh, to the inside. And then we needed to attack these spaces where Puyol and Piquet, they were very, they were very um, exposing. And um, we, we knew that they were very strong on the defensive transition in the opposition half. So we knew that the places where they lose the ball, they were very, very strong by trying to press and push it up and close every possible space. But then we knew that also because that was not the kind of challenge that they had to face week in, week out in the Spanish league. Um, they were not so good coping with the spaces. And we had very fast people. We had very fast people attacking the spaces and we had people with the right mentality and the right coaching of arriving into these positions. So we were fundamentally going from a defensive low block, but going very, very strong with three, four, five players into attacking positions in the, in the transition. And, um, and it worked. I think, uh, I think it worked and it's quite hard to say uh, when we had 30% of, of ball possession and the opposition had 70, but I think we were more close, more close we had more chances, not, not chances, chances, but opportunities that we can read. We had more after the 3-1. We had more chances to score the fourth than, than to be really, really in, um, in trouble. We were, we were totally in, in control. The second goal is exactly what I was saying before, Barcelona very strong and very well educated to, 
the moment they lose the ball to try to press and to try to kill immediately the opposition counter-attack because this is the area where they want to play all the time and we were educated to attack the spaces behind them. So in this situation here, we had always lots of players ready to attack the space behind both fullbacks. Which player should attack these spaces? Anyone. In this case, the player that attacked the space was Milito. And then, when the ball reached Milito in this area here, is a question of who is going to arrive, us or them. And we were very adapted and very coached and also with the right mentality and the right effort and the right ambition to make people arrive in here. So when the ball gets into a player here, in this case was Milito, now the point is, looking at this, how many whites, how many oranges are going to get into the scoring uh, position. And I, I know that this is the guy that is going to arrive, which is, which is Maicon, is going to arrive in here. But we have also, to give sequence of this, I think we have also um, a Pandev and, and maybe Schneider also coming. So we, we, after that ball to Milito, we managed to put two or three players more. It was Schneider and Eto or Schneider and, 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 and Pandev arriving, arriving also here, plus the incredible run of, of Maicon. How many of them they were arriving? It was more difficult for them. I think uh, Kate Busquets, they couldn't cope with this, with this run. I think uh, uh, Maxwell and Messi or Pedro in this position, they never thought that Maicon was going to arrive. So the second and the third goal, they had this similarity of hers hurting them in the attacking uh, uh, transition.